Hey guys, Test Revives here, and I thought I'll do a very quick video on how to bypass CapTrans in Selenium. So this is not a video where I teach you how to code Selenium and image recognition or voice recognition software to, uh, to handle CapTrans automatically. Instead, this is a video where I teach you how to bypass the CapTra um, one time, meaning that you do it manually and then Selenium can log in into the website to do whatever it wants. So it, the solution is rather simple. It's just including this input command over here. So we have uh, Selenium opening a web website of a choice. In this case, let's do WordPress and then driver.get a URL just opens the website. Then after that, um, in line 9, we have the we are waiting for a user input. So this pauses the Selenium and, and, and until we press enter, right? And after we logged in, then uh, let's say we tell Selenium to find find whatever element it does and continue from there. So let's just go ahead and run this and see what it does. So we see that first it opens WordPress and then now it tells us press enter after login. So what does that mean? That means we need to go over here and we need to type in our credentials, solve whatever captures and this is all by hand. So this is all manual. So let's say after I've logged in and let's say there's multiple steps to log in and let's say you need to tick a few boxes for CAPTCHAs and stuff, then after that you can press enter and now Selenium continues its process. In this case, we see that it has successfully retrieved whatever item was inside the website, inside the homepage. So this is all good and if this works for you, then sure, then you can go ahead and um, uh, end the video here. But if this didn't work for you, particularly for me, I met in I ran I ran into an area where the driver couldn't find the element, and it was quite frustrating because I think what happened was that the login page was different, the login URL was different from the homepage URL. So I had this website that I was trying to log into and solve captures manually, but the problem was that after I logged in, Selenium couldn't find the element that I wanted it to. Basically, it hadn't loaded up yet. So I, I found a quick way to bypass this and it's to make use of the cookies. So uh, we just do driver dot get, we just op after we log in, right? After we log in at code line, we just um, open the new URL again. And in this case, cookies will help us, um, will help Selenium log in automatically, right? You don't have to log in again. So this is particularly useful if this this uh if the if the home page URL is different from the different from the login URL. So but uh, in this case let's just put URL over here. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to get at. And let's just run this. So we see that after now that we we run this code, right? After we log in, so we go through the same process again. Okay, so now that we've logged in, right, when I press enter, it will not retrieve the thing directly. Instead, you see that the website here actually reloads again. So you see it loads for a very short period of time and then it retrieves the item. You see, press, you see it goes reload and then retrieves the item. So this would uh, be particularly useful if you are trying to log into a site where the login URL was different from the homepage URL. Yeah, in, in which case that this, this line 13 over here is quite important. So anyway, I hope that you have um, liked this video. If you did and you find it useful, please leave a like and subscribe and tell me in the comments below what other videos you want to see. If not, that's all I have for you today. Have a nice day.